So after one year of ownership, I am selling my Tudor P01. Why am I already selling it? Let's take a look at the watch. We'll talk about some of the details and I'll give you all the reasons why this is not the watch for me. I still think it's a great watch, but it's really just not the watch for me. Let's flip the camera and take a look at the Tudor P01 and discuss why it's leaving my collection. So as I mentioned in the intro, there are really two reasons why I am selling this watch. I'm going to get into those reasons in just a minute, but before we do, I wanted to talk about some of the reasons why I bought this watch. And there were some really good reasons why, and those still exist today. One, and the main reason why I bought this, is because it's a really weird Tudor watch. It's something that Rolex would never do, and that's why I like Tudor. I say this in almost every Tudor video that I do. There are watches that Tudor make that are basically homages to Rolex. If they're not direct homages to a specific Rolex, they're an homage to a Tudor that was from their historic collection, from their early collection before they were reintroduced here in the United States, and those are homages to an original Rolex. So everything that Tudor does basically points back to some Rolex reference. However, there are a few watches that they make that don't. One of them is the P01, another one is the Advisor and the North Flag. These are really weird watches that don't have any sort of direct watch to point to in the Rolex lineup. And I like those watches because they're true tutors. And I feel like this is one of them. This was a prototype that never was made. And this is a reissue of that prototype. They did make a Rolex version, but at the exact same time, they made a Tudor version. It came on a bracelet, and that's why I retrofitted a bracelet to this watch. And I think it looks phenomenal on this bracelet. Now, I can't say whether or not this is an original Tudor bracelet. It came with the watch, except it wasn't fitted to the watch. And what I did was I took a Dremel to it and retrofitted it so it would actually fit the case. You could see there, it fits right into the lugs and these lug structures on here are very weird. One of the reasons why I like this watch is because it's weird, as I mentioned, you get this little flip up thumb thing. I don't know what you would call it. It fits right in between the lugs and you could turn the bezel when it's unlocked. It's a bi-directional 12 hour bezel. And then you click it back in and it locks in the bezel so you could no longer move it. It's a 200 meter dive watch. You have a dome sort of box sapphire crystal, very vintage looking. It gets a four o'clock crown, which is very weird. Something very out of the ordinary for Tudor, definitely for Rolex. And I think it looks good at that position on this watch. Now, a lot of people compared it to an SKX, a Seiko SKX, with obvious reasons, because they both have crowns at the four o'clock position. Both of them are stainless steel dive watches. They look kind of similar, a little bit similar, in my opinion, as well. I own an SKX. Uh, cases are very different. The reason why I am selling this watch, the number one reason why I'm selling this watch is because of the lug to lug. The watch measures in at around 42 millimeters, almost 42 millimeters spot on, depending on where you catch it. It's a thick watch. All Tudor Black Bays are thick just by their nature. So 14.5 millimeters thick. It's a 200 meter dive watch. Not terrible, but it is on the thicker side, especially considering the prices on these watches. But you also get a nice domed boxed sapphire crystal. But like I said, the biggest problem on this watch is the lug to lug. And there really is no effective lug to lug. It is the lug to lug. It's 56 millimeters, basically. It's 55.8, 55.9, depending on where you catch it, but it's almost a 56 millimeter lug width, which is very, very big for almost any wrist. Unless you have a seven and a half inch wrist and above, I think this is going to be hard to wear. Now I have the original rubber leather strap. It wears exactly the same on that strap. And in fact, you get an extra end link on the end of that rubber strap. So it's a very uh, awkward looking watch on that strap in my opinion. That's why I put it on the bracelet. But when you put it on the bracelet, it becomes one of the heaviest watches that I own hands down. Now, if you like a heavy watch, this is really a very, very heavy watch. Um, 
it looks good on the bracelet. I think it looks much better than it does on the strap. As you can see, when I move it around, it really does blend well with the case. It even sort of blends well with these end links. Everything on it works really well. It's good looking, but like I said, it's that lug width. And as I move smaller, I've been sort of attracted to smaller watches. And here is what's replacing this watch. I know this is kind of a weird replacement for such a tool watch, but this is a sports watch. This is my newest addition to my collection. It's the Santos DLC. It has a black DLC bezel on here, interchangeable bracelet, so it's interchangeable on the fly. You get a rubber strap on here, which is absolutely beautiful. It's very comfortable, it's very thin, it gets an in-house movement. Really good looking watch. And unfortunately, I just haven't been wearing this watch, the Tudor, because it's just so heavy and uncomfortable on my wrist. I've found myself wearing this and it's just not comfortable on my wrist for one reason or another. The crown doesn't dig in because you do have that four o'clock crown. I can only imagine if they put a crown at the three o'clock, how uncomfortable it would be. But there you go. I think it looks great on my wrist, but it's so heavy that I just don't find it comfortable. And I find myself attracted to smaller watches. Actually, 42 millimeters, 44 millimeter watches are fine. They're still in my wheelhouse. It's just that something with a 56 millimeter lug span cannot be in my collection anymore. I cannot do that lug span. You can almost see it reaches the extremities of my wrist. And I have a seven and a half inch wrist. I don't have a tiny wrist. I have sort of a medium to large wrist. And there you go. Unfortunately, that's the reason why I'm selling it. So number one reason, comfort factor. Number two, I'm moving smaller in my collection. This wears as one of the largest watches in my collection, even though it's technically not the largest watch by its dimensions, just by the lug width, of course, it's one of the biggest, but otherwise that re that is really it. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be throwing this on Whatnot. You guys know I've been working with Whatnot uh, selling watches, and they are also sponsoring the channel now, and I'm gonna be selling this on their website, on the Whatnot app, and I'll be doing a auction for it. So basically, if you are interested in this watch, I will put a link down in the description. You get $10 toward your first purchase. Obviously, uh, not a big deal, but it is something, and I will be putting this up for auction uh, here and there, so until it sells. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what I will start the auction at. I will try and start it as low as possible, get a little bit of steam behind it, and hopefully sell it for what I'm trying to get for it. And if I can, that would be great. I'm also selling some of my other watches on there as well, some of my higher end watches. I'm trying to fund this watch, which I've already purchased, and I wanna buy another watch in the very near future, so I need to sell, I need to move some of the watches that I already have in my collection. One of them is my Roger Dubuis, uh, my, my uh, larger dive watch that is a Black Swan Easy Diver. That is a beautiful watch. I'll be doing a video on why I'm selling that as well. I think you probably already know the answer to that. Uh, but there you go. Guys, I'm gonna do a quick loom shot for this, but if you are interested, it comes with the box, it comes with the original strap. I will include this bracelet, of course. Uh, I cannot guarantee that it's an original Tudor bracelet because I don't know the origin of this. Uh, however, this was authenticated. The watch, the strap, the box obviously is all authentic. Uh, the, sh the bracelet was not authenticated, so I cannot say for sure, but it does have ceramic bearings on it, so I think it is, but I can't say for sure, like I said, so I will not say that that is an authentic bracelet, but everything else is authentic. There you go. Uh, really awesome watch, just a little too big for me. I wish it was smaller. It would be something that I would be actually keeping in my collection. I always thought I would keep this, but I find myself not wearing it. If you're not wearing a watch, you gotta sell it. That's just the way it is. Quickly, Loom Shot. Loom is actually pretty good on this watch. It's liberally applied to the indices and hands. You have a big lollipop on the second hand, so you get a good effect. Nice, bright Loom on here. Uh, unfortunately, I will be sad to see this watch go when it does sell. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really loved the bracelet. Uh, obviously, I retrofitted this bracelet to the uh, to the lugs, uh, so it comes off pretty easily. Uh, I did make the end links essentially with a Dremel. I cut the end links with a Dremel, so it doesn't look too good on the underside. On the top side, they look great. It doesn't. You can't see any of the marks that I made with the Dremel. But other than that, 
Uh, that's really the only damage on this watch is the uh, bracelet, which as I mentioned, is a possible aftermarket. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.